Hi. I'm saying hi to the mailbox, because, hey, how's it going? That's how I'm supposed to do an intro. Letters for what's-his-face. We have one. Here's your letter. It's gonna be money. Dear fuck me, if you're reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into our one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I'm very sorry to let you leave without thank you. Please sit. My heartfelt thank you with the whatever, the post box, and the wiggly post box, and I'm already bored of what reading. From Kamali's father. Oh, it's actually a heart piece. Never mind. It was totally worth it then. I got another heart piece. Now he's gonna tell me, now I'm not gonna be able to jump into him because he has something to tell me. So this place too has been attacked by Ganon, could he really already be regaining his power? Fuck me, you must get to the very remaining pearl that lies northwest of here. You must set sail immediately. Got it, you want me to go northwest? Let's just pull out the old Wind Waker, that thing, and uh, I guess that thing, cause you know, I know it. Actually this thing. Because I have to mark islands on the way there, so you want me to go uh, northeast, was it? That's where you want me to go? I'm just making sure, I'm just making sure. Because I am going to go southwest! Wait, southwest. Am I going the right way? Where the fuck am I going? Yeah, she wanted me to go south, northwest, so I'm going southwest. Yeah. That is the opposite direction of where I meant to go. Yes, I'm going this way. Because there's cool stuff over here. Uh, something that's not exactly required, but is very useful as well. As well. Uh, I'm actually heading over there first. Because there's something re because there's something like actually required over there, but we can't really deal with it yet, but it's still cool to look at. Still kind of cool. Okay, I don't need this for now. Put that there. Pumping the sail because I am going to that place that looks suspiciously like a dragon head. I don't have to go there right now, but I want to because it looks cool. And besides, what else am I going to do? Just like head over in like the direction that I'm supposed to go, like right away? Psh, that sounds like trying to get things done in a timely and well in a timely manner. And that is not how I do things. I waste as much time as I possibly can. And by the way, this is like the opposite to Fire Mountain. I believe... I can't remember what it's called. It's something ice, I'm sure of that. Something stupid. Uh, there's also ships that are going to be shooting at me over there that I can't yet deal with, but for now... I think it's Ice Ring Isle. I'm going for Ice Ring Isle. My bet says Ice Ring Isle. So we gotta talk to Mr. Fish and Fish over here first. Because he's gonna find around, and this looks kind of cool. Looks like there's like a self-contained blizzard in there. It's very nice looking. And let's talk to you. Let us talk to you. I can't believe I rambled over that whole three three minutes. Took three minutes to get here. Oh, okay. small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Take it, my chart, island, and map stuff. I think this is ice ring. Don't hold me to that. I was right, Ice Ring Isle. You could have totally held me to that. Now, what do you guys say? There's this, there's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there, but even if you wanted and tried to get inside, you'd just be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go four squares north and three squares west to find the power to mount ice, no matter how cold, search for it. So, all right, that's all the info I've got to offer. Alright. So, four north, that's one, two, three, four. And one, two, three. That's exactly where the fire mountain guy told me to go. So maybe there's something of interest in this little square right here. Okay. So over this way we go. Over in this here direction. Alright. Because this is where I wanted to go to from the beginning. Well, the beginning I wanted to go from like actual quest line stuff. But once again, like stars, it's like more clear when you look at it through the sail for some reason. See, look at that. Look at that. You can totally see it more clearly with the sail. At least it's more crisp. It's a cleaner image. And stuff. I'm not... I'm not in the up and... Oh wait, why is it already getting all like... Stormy and shit? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be on the other side. But uh... Where's, oh, now you're making it... Now you're just trying to make it hard for me to find Mr. Fishy Fish. Whatever his name is. Where's the fish? I'm looking for a fish. You stay away from me, Mr. Cannon Guy. You're a jerk. I'm gonna shoot you down later, but for now you're just a jerk. There you are. There's the fish. Let's always talk to it. 
like all the other ones. Let's see what we got here. Get the hell up. It's very quiet here. Oh, small fry, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Two eye reef. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Don't ask me how I know. I should have opened those treasure charts. Now, what do you got to say, buddy? I tell you, lately, no one around these waters has seen the beautiful fairy who bestows magic power. She used to live here, Brad. And any, all anyone never sees is the big octos that have been appearing lately. Oh, maybe they scared it off. Oh, no, I sure hope they didn't eat her. And now he's like totally nonchalant to the whole matter. You really showed some real, uh, fear that way. That's where I want to go. If you head over in the direction where there are a shit ton of seagulls congregating about, you go there, I'm gonna take out Mr. Boomerang just in case something like, like, something might pop out. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure. What's here? Oh, it suddenly got stormy again. We're in a whirlpool because going where seagulls are, you see the flying spaghetti monster. Actually a big octo. Why the hell isn't the song right? This song isn't... What the fuck is wrong with the song? This isn't the proper song. It's supposed to be really epic and awesome. I am super disappointed. This, like... If you could see my face right now, it is just 100% pure disappointment. Game... For the first time ever... You have let me down. I hope this isn't a recurring theme. In fact, for your sake, I hope it's not a recurring theme because this disc is already broken. Is already broken as it is because it won't let me open dungeon maps. I will break it further once this is done if you keep screwing me around. I mean, that's just one, but that's a big one. That music is pretty awesome. Oh, by the way, there's a fairy here. Oh, Waker of the Winds, thanks to you I've been freed from the beast's foul grasp. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. I saved you from a monster and you only ought to give me a little. By the way, this is the only... second to only... Mag okay, one of the only two magic fairies. The others just give you, like, item expansions. This one gives me the double magic meter, which is al almost useless at this point, because all I have is the leaf. And there's no point where you need the double magic leader for the leaf. Or at least there shouldn't be, because that'd be kind of douchey. Let's put that there. And I need more bait. Because I need to la I need to label all the islands in the sake of trying to do something even remotely related to professionalism. I can speak and run on sentences too, game. You're not the only one. And I think it's better for me to just like go straight north. Or have the wind go straight north. Because I think it's like yeah, it's only like, it's four up, so, no, wait. Yeah, Northwest is better. Even at this point, Northwest is still better. Alright. What the hell is that in the distance? There's like this, no, I don't want to, fuck. Alright, third time's the charm. Although the first time I didn't actually make a mistake, per se. But I didn't do the right thing either. But it was on purpose, so it wasn't an accident, so. Yeah. Okay, let's get this right. Third time's the charm, right? Even though I'm going left. You're kind of up-ish. That general direction. And I'm going to label every island on the way there, except for that one, because I'm going to be actually coming there label later. But I am labeling this one. Or at least going to try to, because there's something of interest over here that I actually want to do my best to avoid. Like, seriously. Although it would be try, an attempt attempting to manipulate it would be a good speedrun tactic. Just saying. At least until a certain point. By the way, if you're just tuning in, I'm pumping the sail. That makes you go slightly faster. You know, just fast. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing you want to avoid. That's what you call a cyclone. At least in this game, you want to stay away from it until you have a certain item. Otherwise, it'll warp you to a random square. But that's not exactly detrimental. It can be potentially beneficial. I just don't want to risk it because I have other places to label. You stay away from me. And I'm pretty sure at a certain point they begin to follow you. Well, at least while you're in their square. There are only two that I know of. Actually, I think there are only two in the game. Two squares with the cyclone. Gust, the gusts are fucking everywhere. 
for the updrafts. For those things. Alright. Oh, I smell blood there. I'm not even gonna read that guy's words anymore, except for the secondary parts. By the way, I think this is Shark Isle. Or Shark Island. Sorry. I still gotta open those trading cards. Eh, hey, tell me, Small Fry, have you ever seen one of those cyclones? Oh, been caught for a second, I thought you said seen them, like, you are fucking retarded, fish. To the wind daily cyclones, is using those, fly across the sea instantaneously, or so I've heard, just could be room. Boy, if you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth, though, and I know it. Wouldn't that be nice? Tell, let me tell you, there's no way he'll give it up easily, get the other guy, you have to figure out how to shoot him from a distance. Huh. So, a gun? I'm pretty sure I need a gun. Where the hell am I gonna find a gun, though? I'm pretty sure they won't be invented for quite a while. I wonder if there'll ever be like a modern Zelda game. By the way, these are like regular Octoroks. Oh, actually, these are like medium Octoroks. I think they're like... There's some sort of medium type... Intermediate Octorok, I'm not sure. By the way, I think it's following me at this point. Oh, by the way, even that becomes clear. Everything becomes clear once you look at it through the sail. Or at least crisper. It loses its blur. Which is weird, because you think when you're looking through a screen, it get more blurry, but whatever. Once again, as I said before, I'll say it again, I'm just rolling with it. I'm gonna go to that island over there later. That one that looks suspiciously like a ship or something. Wait. Oh wait, I don't have my treasure chart out. The motion blur tells you you're going faster. This is, you know, I could... I'm, I don't know why I'm still commenting. This is gonna be like a full part. Full part of sailing. Just one old big old part of sailing. Hopefully, I never have another one of these. Actually, you know what? I probably will. In fact, it, pr it will probably be immediately after this one. After that, though. No, wait, you know what? There's more fucking sailing after that. There's a lot of sailing. I keep thinking of, hey, that maybe that's not. Nope, more sailing. Nope, more sailing. Oi, yeah, what's your face? Uh, it won't be until a bit later, maybe two or three recording sessions later, that I won't have to deal with the sailing as much. It looks kind of annoying. So tell me, Spotify, have you heard about the Golden Triumph Forks? There are such things. There's a chart that'll show you where they are on that island. If you want to try asking that huge, grassy looking stone watcher. Where the hell's my coke at? Oh yeah, but you couldn't box the thing even if you tried. So I'm going to like set sail in that direction and greet you with smile, silence, a bit of silence while I look for which one is my coke. Never mind, I found it. Ah, I like coke more than Pepsi. I don't know why, I just do. There's nothing about hype or nothing. I just prefer. Coca-Cola, Pepsi, although I enjoy both of them. I do. I don't care which one they got. But if I had a choice, Coca-Cola. There's my stance on that, the greatest political issue that... What's the word? I can't think of the word. I can't. I'm trying. I'm still trying, but I can't. I apologize for that. That is a weird looking man. It looks like a penis! Oh, by the way, there's like some sort of storm cloud. It looks kind of sinister. Yeah. Well, it's bright day. So. Oh no, don't come now, storm clouds. Look! Fuck me! Do you see it? What has happened to this place? Oh, that's a lot of dots. Great Fish Island. I want to do a safe pun here, but I can't think of anything. What's the meaning of this? This island, it is... Rainy. Rainy as fuck. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. The great water spirit Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, he's there! Yeah! Oh! Is that my lawyer? Oh, sweet, here comes Harvey Birdman! Yay! So what have, you got, what have you got for me on the status of the pirates? So you're here, I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Taboon? How do you know that? Uh, your lawyer powers must have told you that. I'm sorry to report that he can no longer be found here. How the hell did you figure that out? Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. That is some mighty fine perception you got there, Harvey. 
But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee the side before it was attacked. Oh, how the hell? I'll never understand how you know this stuff. Would you like to guess where that is? Wait, wait. Gotham City. Let's see. On the island where you were born on out- Damn it! So close. I guess Link's kind of comparable to Batman. Hey, even if you were to go to outside now, you would not be able to see him. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates can get in even with their mighty ship. Speaking of which, I thought, must apologize. I thought anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. You're fired! I do not know what they hope to get, but they immediately set sail for outside and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they cannot gain entrance. If they were last spotted, Ron Windfall doing what I'd let. You wish to see the boon, you would think you better search for the pirates on Windfall. And eerie, everything is eerie. Blows, everywhere blows to your size, but this place is under dark clouds and rain. Lou must have been right when he asked to bring the word Jaboon to you. We call this island Cursed. It's very cursed. You know what? I rehire you. For telling me that. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Hey, I've got rupees to spare. Don't leave me here! You son of a bitch. Anyways, I am going to do that uh, slightly later. Joe, Jaboon is a surprise. This is the trials of long years. He must have caught wind of Gan's attack beforehand. If we are to spread and believe the words of the Read the Postman, uh, Harvey Birdman, uh, then the pirates must know something about where the cave Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first with Paul and search for him there? Uh, first, I want to search for what's on that spiral hill. It's not, it's not exactly Spiral Mountain, but there is something cool, or at least of interest there. I keep thinking that B makes me swim faster because I'm used to the Ocarina of Time engine. It never will make me swim faster. And I'm going to drown! No wait! Oh! I'm good- oh shit! This is like gonna be a bug- oh fuck! No! No! There we go! We're good! We're good! Link's got uh, limited swimming power because they didn't want you to just swim from island to island. I suppose it was a necessary thing. But they could have like, done something about- like... They could have done it better. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna ignore you. Well, which way is the wind facing? Exactly where I need it to be. So let's go to that and put that there. And make the jump! Go! Because there is something cool here. You know, actually, I think I just make it from here. Yes, I can. I guess, yeah, it's, the double magic meter is not really necessary. There we go. This is like the only thing of use on this island. Like, that's actually on the island. Well, there's there's two other reasons to come here. And that this is the only thing you can do right now. I only need one more piece to get the full hot container. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Uh, we're going that way. That tiny little smidge they call an island back at Windfall. You know, compared to the other things, it's pretty damn tiny. Compared to the other main things, that is. But compared to, like, everything else, it's like a giant, like, on stilts. Yeah. I, I didn't have a good analogy. I should have tried. Uh, oh, wait. I still gotta find Mr. Fishy Man. There you are! Don't leave me! I must talk to you about this cursed island. Oh, I know what you're gonna tell me about, though. I know what your little tips are going to tell me about. Well, at least this epic music's still playing. At least this one's still playing. You hear that, Big Octo? Uh, oh, I smell frog, yep. Yeah. Oh, why do I keep start reading the beginning part? Nah. That bottom thing I have labeled looks like a penis. Although it kind of looks off now. Like limp. You should come around these parts of the mess when just a wee bit of the left half of the moon is missing. That's when it appears. That's all I've got to offer. The fuck is this it thing people keep talking about? Or the fish keeps talking about? Or the fish's friends keep talking about? I don't know what the fuck I call them. Oh, by the way, the island is still like has, has a coolie looking... There's a tree on there. I have never noticed... I'm gonna have to come back here sometime when I can go see what's on the tree. That tree is interesting to me. By the way... There's like these regular rings out in the water. They all have like 50 or 20 rupees, somewhere around that range. 
By no means required. Neither are the other treasures. But they have cooler stuff. Normally, one of them has... I, I set up four. One of them has one rupee, and I spent a shit ton of money to get that chart. And then that just really pisses me off. So yes, we are back on the sailing path. Except the music is more up again. Yay. It's turned up for me, but you won't notice a difference because the sound records because I hear the sound differently than you do. Because you hear it just through the video, which is going to be like uniform throughout. Because of the recording, it's not. Oh, by the way, there's these shark guys. They're kind of annoying. I have a way to deal with them, but I prefer not to at the moment. You know, because you don't have to. Oh wait, I gotta take the money. I gotta take the fish at bait out. All purpose bait. Sorry. And. Go. Everything likes to eat berries except for the eat for the gulls. Actually, there's only two things that I know that go for this bait: the rats and that guy. Which makes sense because he's a rat. Oh! All right. What do we got here? Tingle Island. I didn't want to add that last part. Let me tell you a little something about that island over there. A guy named Tingle lives there and he won't grow up and act his age. He dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. From what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. That just goes you can't judge a person by appearance alone, right? Of course, this Tingle guy has some time to deciphering, but you better have the you know, fork over. So, serious though, anyone who doesn't have a default won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. Which reminds me, I'm going to finally open these goddamn maps.